Right, I've still got four minutes to intro this video. Let's see how quickly we can do that. Hello everyone. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna include this into my half marathon vlog or whether this is gonna be a separate vlog for today. It's a busy day at work and I thought maybe I'd do like a little day in the life kind of vibe. Um, tonight I'm coming home and I'm going to be packing for the half marathon. So again, not sure if it's gonna be a separate video or this is gonna be like a video by itself. But anyway, I've got some new shoes to wear today. Hopefully they don't give me blisters or anything like that. Yeah, welcome to Friday. It's a beautiful sunny day. It feels like spring. I just absolutely hate going and seeing like other <laughs> other people that I don't work with all the time because that was just awkward. It's gonna take me three hours to walk, bloody hell. I'm not doing that. That's literally a half marathon. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. Ow, how are we here already? Like literally, ignore the fact I've got my pajama bottoms on. But I don't understand how we're here already. How are we at this point? where I'm packing for the half marathon again. It's absolutely crazy. Race number is going in because if it doesn't go in, I bloody forget it and these. And also these going in and these. And then my outfit. So it's meant to be 20 degrees tomorrow. How fucking exciting. So I think we are definitely going short sleeve for Sunday. It is meant to be really windy though, but the way it's been today, I can definitely see it getting warmer. So I definitely am not going to be like packing too many layers because I'm just not going to need them. Um, I'm also taking this one, like I said, as a just in case. And I'm also not going to bother with taking a raincoat because it isn't forecast to rain. And there isn't any point in me taking it because it's just extra room and I take knees. And I'm also taking a spare sports bra just in case for some reason I decide on the day that the other one is not comfortable. Pants and socks, staple. And I'm also taking this little bag as well to put in post run shoes post run socks and a post run snack it's been about 20 minutes it's been about 20 minutes but i've got some stuff so i'm taking three energy gels because i think last time i did have three can't remember uh the time before i didn't eat as many percy pigs as i thought um because i hadn't used them very much for training but now i sort of know like how to eat them and stuff like that. I'll probably have quite a few of those. I'm also going to be buying a Lucas Aid for the race as well. And then I'm also taking some chocolate to have in the room. And I'm also taking a protein powder, my last one, uh, to have post race so I can mix it in with a drink. Obviously trainers because if I don't take these gonna be pretty screwed and these have actually held up really well like you literally can't tell that they've been worn and done as many miles as they have I've got my little chocolate things for my porridge I've also got a protein bar too because I'm gonna be needing all of the all of the protein posts if anything, if I remember anything from my previous half marathon is I was very, very sore the day after. Um, so ultimate goal for this one is to, well, I think to be honest, the previous half marathon, the reason why I was so sore is just because of the fact I sat in a car for two and a half hours after. I'm not being funny. I think I'm going to call that a day with the packing. I think that's basically everything. I'll have to have another little go at that in the morning just to double check I've got everything. Um, I'm going to have to decide what bag I'm going to take because I don't think my little crossbody bag is going to be enough because <laughs> that's pretty... 
pretty full, so I might have to take a small bag with me. And not a small bag, a shoulder bag with my iPad and my book in and things. Good morning, happy, happy Saturday. Just ignore my hair right now. Uh, I am just about to start editing. It's nearly half eight, which isn't ideal, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just swapping over my cases because this is much better to like film with. Um, I'm kind of a bit bored of the pink, to be honest. So swapping it back to my original. I literally look like Hagrid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> right, I've got some um uh, uh whitening stuff in. So I'm not um can't talk properly, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I've realised I actually don't have any room for my makeup, so I might not actually be able to take makeup away with me. Not that I'm actually planning on wearing it much, but I'm just going to put a little bit on today. Because I want to have a day where I can actually get some like nice looking photos. Right, I need to stop faffing and I need to just get on with it, so I'll be, be right back. to get Leon. I've secured how many bags of Percy Pigs? Three bags of Percy Pigs. Should be enough to last us today. Uh, yeah, if I, if I don't eat a whole bag during the race, I'll be very disappointed. Not that I need to eat all of them, but you know, whatever. literally just seen a sign <laughs> for part of the half marathon tomorrow and like a wave of anxiety has just like hit the pit of my stomach and I feel like I'm actually nervous I'm more nervous than excited I'm excited to be in London I'm just not excited for tomorrow now literally just spent an arm and a leg on this Nervous spending, we're very expensive on the leg, too. <laughs> Nervous spending, that's yes. what we're saying. Hello, give us well, room tour. All the place. Do you want to do room tour? <laughs> very not private scenario there, <laughs> and then we walk through the bed. <laughs> Good job, me and Elliot have been together nearly six years because privacy is out the window in this hotel. I don't recommend if you're on a first date or you're going away for the first time together because you're not going to be pooping in private is all I have to say well we're here because I'm absolutely my feet are like dead I don't know how I'm going to run the marathon tomorrow I've got Lululemon let me show you because I did just spend like too much on this got the Align shorts because they're meant to be great for running and I'm thinking that maybe next half marathon I can wear those and they'll be great for like all over things because they're really like stretchy and then I got the I think this is the Align yeah the Align tank to match I was thinking this is going to be great for like just summer vibes really and black goes with everything and I don't have to worry about VPLs or anything like that because it's black so that was the £106 I have to bring out a bloody loan to pay that off, but you know what's fine, it's worth it. God, the lighting in here is really, really rubbish, so I do apologise. What the actual flying friggin' ducks has happened? Why is the race today? How is the race today? I don't know whether to be nervous or excited. I don't know what to do with me. Ended up having to watch. Lots of Holly B Fitness's um, YouTube videos last night just to, you know, make me feel like I'm not incapable of doing it because if you can manage to run a marathon, quite a few of them, I think I'll be fine for this one considering I have run a half before. So I know I'm capable. Just positive vibes, right? I'm ready. 
ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Am I re actually ready to physically run this? No, but I'm dressed. Oh, right. Chugging water as if it's bloody vodka. Had about three nervous poops. <laughs> Finished it. I bloody finished it. Barely. <laughs> what do you mean barely? Bloody finished it and I ran over the finish line and I ran for it all. Thank you very much. Look at my medal. <sighs> Whoever set that race up, I've got some complaints for you because I don't really feel like the miles were really like labelled well and I also don't think the miles that we hit at the times that we did were quite accurate because um, you struggled with the the maps didn't you when you we said conflicting information yeah we had to look. it was just all a bit mad all a bit mad but I did it and I basically I averaged at like an 8.15 pace which is fine and I actually ran from basically all of it there was just a few there was one five minute section where I didn't run but the rest of it I was basically running and if I stopped I only stopped for like a minute at most um which is so much better than my previous one because I didn't I wasn't able to like basically run like from mile no mile uh, I suppose mile 11 I really struggled to run um my feet don't have blisters which is an absolute bloody miracle my feet hurt which is to be expected because it's just slammed my feet have slammed the pavement for however long I was out for so like give them the benefit of the doubt but like uh, last time I was just in like I couldn't like I could I didn't really talk much on the way home at all, did I? You were asleep off the top. So, you know, I obviously handled it a lot better this time. And my fueling just went out of the window because the first gel I had gave me such a bad like such a bad stitch to a point where I literally I struggled like my whole lower I know my period's in a week, but like the amount of cramps and stitch pain I had so I literally had to grab her I literally struggled my way to mile whatever it was that I saw you at and yeah mad mad times good morning as you can tell I am absolutely knackered getting up out of bed this morning was if that's what old age feels like I don't want it don't want it Absolutely don't. And their legs don't work that fast today. <laughs> but you can tell it's definitely back to work day. Because literally all the construction is back. <clears throat> but we're heading to Battersea Power Station, which is my favourite place on earth. And what better way to recover from this brutal back ache than going and eating some pancakes that I'm going to enjoy very much. It's not going well. <laughs> Pancakes on. Pancakes on not on that side. Very That's what we're looking at. Rolls together. It doesn't look like it's going to be moving anytime soon. We made it. We made it. The train did move. 
the wrong way. But the wrong way, but it was still moved. Holy moly! I have just made it back. Well, we haven't just made it back. We've been home like an hour. Elliot's already out doing the food shop, but I cannot believe I did that yesterday. I'm honestly paying for it. I don't understand how I've managed to do that. The thing is, I think because I don't run 21 kilometers all the time, usually is like pretty rough when I do do that. But even so, like even when I was doing my 15Ks, I never felt this excruciating back pain. I have no idea why the back pain's so bad, but it just is. It's fine. I've got the ibuprofen gel working its magic because I was stupid and I forgot it. But now I'm home, I've put it on and it's literally worked within 10 minutes. But I honestly am so proud of this medal. I just, I fucking did it absolutely fucking did it thank you so much for watching it's been a way it's been a whale of a time it's been a while it's been an interesting time let's just say that and hopefully we'll see you next week for a bit of a different video maybe more of a zen kind of vid because i feel like i need a bit of a zen in my life <laughs> no extravagant tasks being had but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again for a new video. Bye.